Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Zhang from Tianyi University. My presentation is about studying on dynamic response of feedback under waves based on the DM PFV coupling method. My presentation includes six parts. The first one is introduction, and uh, then we give the numerical model and the model validation. The third one is we give the numerical results for feedback response and uh, the regular wave and the irregular wave. Final, we give the conclusion and the comment. The first one is the background and the introduction. We know that waves of time affect structure stability made in two different ways by directly acting on the outdoor structure by acting on the feedback around the structure. For example, it deformed and softened and liquefied. For example, there were so many offshore platform instability due to liquefaction. Also, we know that after liquefaction, the feedback became the fluid-like body. Analytical work, laboratory experiments, field operation, and uh, numerical simulation of the wave induced the feedback dynamic response that had been carried out. For example, here is the how water pressure in the feedback uh, around the, the offshore structure. Compare with the SVM and SEM. CM model has the advantages of simulate the motion of the soil particles. In this study, we use the DM open source DM model to simulate the soil particle. We also use the PFA model to simulate the porous of the feedback. Then we just uh, uh, set up the DM PFA coupling model to simulate the dynamic response of the feedback. This company model has uh, so many advantages. Uh, for example, it can uh, simulate the solid and liquid interaction. We also can simulate the particle moment. Uh, also, we get the liquid, uh, liquid phase is based on the SVM. So it can, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it can, it can save the calculation cost. The second part is the DM PSV coupling model. Here is the DM model. In the other model, the shape of the particle is simplified to the spherical, and we just use the soft uh, soft sphere model. And uh, then uh, the contact force is decomposed into the pressure component and the shear component. Here is the DM PSV coupling model use the regular triangulation. The pore space is uh, discreetly uh, dived into the, you know, that uh, Voronoi Voronoi unit. This just like this uh, Voronoi unit. This is the uh, continue. This is the continuity equation. Uh, also, we just uh, calculate the fluid forces of soil particles. Here is the buoyancy um, uh, force. This is the power pressure. Also, we just viscosity. Viscosity is this is the force is produced by viscosity. The third part is the model validation. We just compare with the analytical data and the experimental data. Firstly, we just a comparison with the analytical data. This is the wave parameters and the soil uh, properties. Uh, this is the simulation. That line is, uh, is the simulation. And the, the solid line, the analytical data, this is the power pressure and uh, this is the effective structure. The second one is the comparison with the experimental data. Here is the uh, sketch of the experimental setup. Uh, we just uh, the study will induce the uh, feedback dynamic response. Here is the soil uh, properties and the wave char uh, characteristics. So this is the comparison of the uh, curves of semi wave induced feedback power pressure. We know that uh, the numerical simulation uh, agree with the experimental data. 
They also uh, compile the feedback dynamic response under the propagation wave. Here is the vertical distribution of where we use the power pressure, the solid light, the analytical uh, data, and the spectra or the experimental data. The death line or the simulation result. We can see that the our simulation uh, our simulation model is correct. The third part is feedback response and the regular way. Here is the model setup. Uh, we give the water depth, water height, and water period. Also, we just uh, uh, set up the three cases for the feedback. The uh, has with the different uh, uh, powers. Uh, this is the newer model setup. Uh, with the numerical processes includes the uh, you know that uh, the uh, stratification uh, and uh, the second process is the consolidation. Then we just give the feedback response. Uh, for the different uh, the cases. Uh, here is the distribution of the excess pore water pressure. You know that uh, from this figure, we can see that the, uh, the pore water pressure uh, decreases uh, rapidly near the surface layer of the soil. Uh, with the decrease of the height, uh, you know that uh, the attenuation rate decreases uh, uh, gradually and then tend to the stable. Here is the move for the uh, power uh, for the power pressure. We also gave the effective stress field of the feedback for three cases. Uh, for these figures, we can see that the uh, the effective stress uh, of the feedback increase directly along the vertical along the vertical direction. But for the horizontal direction, you may, we, we saw that the, uh, the that the effective effective stress uh, has been different because the uh, different uh, particle size. Uh, we, uh, we can we can use this parameter to get the liquefaction that uh, from these figures we can see that uh, for case two. Uh, the, the parameter is larger than one, so the seabed is uh, liquefied. For the case one and the case two, uh, the parameter is less than one, so the seabed, uh, seabed were consolidated. Uh, we just figure out uh, the parameters of the soil for three cases. We know that uh, when the redu uh, reducing porosity, or we just increase the elastic uh, modulus. The seabed cannot be liquefied. Uh, we also saw the time series of the porosity and our particles kinetic energy. For the case one, the porosity decreases uh, slowly and remains stable. Uh, for the case two, and the action of the wave, the porosity fluctuates subtly without decreasing track. So the liquefaction occurs. Uh, the same way for case three and the action of the wave, porosity uh, decreases slowly and remains uh, stable. The first part is the feedback response and the irregular wave. Here we give the model setup. We just uh, uh, simulated the irregular wave propagation uh, for the three cases. For the different uh, uh, soil parameters, here is the wave spectrum. This is the seabed model. Here is the seabed response. This is the distribution of the power water pressure field. Uh, from the, the these figures, we can see that wave pressure on the surface of the bed will affect the uh, power power water pressure. We also uh, use, use this parameter to, uh, to get uh, the seabed liquefaction. From this figure, we can see that the, uh, except for the case 2, the seabed uh, 
the, the feedback uh, can be quantified. Also, you know that the case history, case history because of the large wave, uh, 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 this period, so the case history has the liquefied, also uh, has uh, also has the liquefied. Uh, from this uh, from this figure, we can see that uh, compared with the uh, regular wave, the effect of the regular wave on the stability of the feedback soil is more obvious. We also gave the time series or porosity and the particle kinetic energy. Uh, uh, this is the part. Uh, this is the case. Uh, case two. From this figure, we can see that uh, 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 the liquefaction of the seabed will occur under the action of large negative pressure of the wave, and, and uh, for the irregular wave, the seabed shows a continuous instability. We also give the velocity, the distribution field of the power water. This is for the case one. Uh, from this figure, we can see that the velocity of power flow uh, in uh, in in the presents uh, periodical changes under the action of, uh, action of the wave. Also, we know that the here the uh, wave uh, wave shock uh, the largest uh, wave velocity occurs. Uh, you know that uh, along the vertical direction, the velocity decreases. The final part is the conclusion. The DM PFC model is established to simulate the seabed response under wave. Uh, the model was validated and compiled with the experimental data and the analytical results. We also simulated the dynamic responses of seabed and the regular wave. We can see that uh, we can use the by reducing Quantity and increasing elastic model, uh, modulus can directly and uh, effectively around the liquefaction of the seabed. Uh, we also simulated the dynamic response of the seabed under the irregular wave. Uh, and the irregular wave has large uh, impact on the stability of the seabed due to the appearance of the large wave pressure. In future, we need to simulate the wave structure interactions, and uh, we also uh, focus on the complicated boundary conditions and uh, change the parameters of soil to show how uh, how to affect the uh, dynamic response of the feedback. Also, we want to figure out the edge liquefaction measures for feedback under the wave. Thanks for listening.